Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's quite some time I've posted any videos. I've been so busy, I'm very sorry for that. So, today I'm going to start this video by showing you this cup. This cup is exactly one liter, okay? So this was what I used in the measurement of my water. I'd like you to note that, okay? But if you don't have it, you can use your normal one liter, your measured one liter cup, or any commercial cup that is up to a liter. This cup is sold for about 300 naira around here, 300 or 250. So, I'll be making laundry soap today, and I'm using 10 liters of oil. I have my bleached palm oil and my PKO, and um, all is 10 liters. I'm getting my water. I'm using six liters of water. All in all, okay. So I'm measuring all my water together in one place. I'll be using soda ash for this recipe. And I'll be mixing the two together. So that's why I'm measuring the water needed for both of them into the same place together i don't want to do it separate but if you wish you can do it separately you can first pour in your caustic and then later in on you mix your soda ash and pour it in but for this particular recipe today i'm mixing them together why i'm doing that is because i need the heat from the caustic soda to help me melt the soda ash on time. This soda ash have been around for some time. So it's a bit strong. And if you look at it well, you see it's lumpy. So dissolving soda ash on its own is not easy. So by the time I mix it with the caustic soda like this, it will facilitate the fast melting of the soda ash so i'm joining them together and i'm mixing so i went away for some time to give way for the caustic soda fumes to reduce a bit i'm not actually allowing my caustic soda to get cool because i'm using semi hot process even though my oils are not really that hot they are just warm so, but my caustic is a bit hot, okay? It's not that cool. It's no room temperature. So I'm gradually pouring it in, gradually. I'm sorry for the video. I did this video. I made this soap in the night, around 8 o'clock in the night. So I'm just making use of the little light I have available. We don't even have Nepal light available now by this time. So I'm mixing everything by hand. Usually when I make large quantities, I usually use my mixing, my mixer. But there's no light and I need to make the soap, okay? So as you can see, the soap has thickened and I'm mixing it and the soap has gelled beautifully. There is no separation. Usually when there's vast temp and temperature difference between your caustic and your oil, you tend to get separation. But as you can see from this, I don't have any separation. So I'll, I mixed it and I left it for some time before coming back. Since I'm making this soap indoors, and the weather, it's not as if the weather is really cold. I didn't cover it. I just left it for some time, then came back. And if you look at the color of the soap, it's quite darker. That's because the heat generated has gelled the soap beautifully. The brown color has come out. Okay? But this soap, I will not want it to be brown. I am making, um, I want it to be orange colored. The request is for a commercial looking that has an orange color. So I have to make exactly the soap that looks like it. 
So now I'm adding my calcium. Mind you, my soda ash and my calcium here are my and my 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 soda ash is my builder and my calcium is like my filler. These two are the combination of which I'll use to create profit for myself in this soap. Okay. So for the calcium, I melted it in I mixed it up in about two liters of water. You could use less actually, but I used two liters of water and 1.5 kg of calcium. This soap can even take up to two kg if you wish. Okay. So you can see now from how am I getting my profit? That 1.5 kg, or let's say if you use two kg, already you've added extra two kg to your soap. Then the water alone, 1.5. That is and the water alone, that's two liters. That means I'm adding extra four liters or at, at least 3.5 liters to the volume of my soap. Apart from the soda ash also, the soda ash was an extra 3 liters and an extra 1.5 kg also. Do you understand? So that will give me a total of about of more than 5 kg. 5 liters extra. If I had used only my caustic and my oils, I wouldn't get as much volume as adding soda ash. The soda ash alone, the weight of the soda ash will add to the volume. Then the water alone will add. The water that I used for the soda ash was about 3 liters. Isn't it not so? Remember I used 6 liters. 3 for the caustic, 3 for the soda ash. Then I'm using 2 for calcium you can use either 2 or 1.5 then again the extra weight of the calcium again of about 1.5 or 2 so you see this is where your profit will come in this way you you have more volume okay now i'm adding the color and you add the color to your taste you can decide to make your soap green or pink or orange it must not be brown the soaps in the market these days are varied and your soap must not be transparent transparent soap is expensive to make but with this one now i can sell it 100, 100 naira which okay, and i'll still get something out of it so you see making soap to make profit it's it's quite easy the soap was my, my hand got tired of mixing so had, my daughter had to come and help me. So, but I just collected it and I continued mixing. Mixing this soap was not easy for me at all. It was, I was already tired that day because I came back from work. You can see I'm still in my work clothes. And then I came in, did some work and I have to make soap. So I was really tired. My hands were paining me. Well, but I did my best to mix it well. I had to stand up to make sure I mix it well. So that's just it, as you can see, the color have come out. And as I'm making this soap, I had to go and get the real commercial soap. This is a commercial soap. I was comparing the color to the commercial soap. This commercial soap too has calcium fillers in it. You know, we here up in the north, we use filler in our soap because oils are expensive here. So if you say you keep on doing transparent soap, transparent soap, you can sell the size of this soap that I'll sell 100 naira if it's transparent soap. I can't sell like that. And this will also affect my customer base because most people so far as your soap is foaming and the size is okay. They will buy. It doesn't have to be brown. So I'm following the I'm trying to get the texture of that commercial soap there, both color and texture, okay? So that's what I'm trying to do now. The soap was too full, so I reduced it a bit into one of my molds. 
when I reduced it as still mixed. And of course, I added perfume to it. I'm sorry I didn't mention it, but if you look carefully at the video, you see when I was adding my perfume, and I didn't add much. But the perfume, you will really smell it. I didn't add much. You know, perfume is expensive. Oh. So don't go and fill up perfume inside your laundry soap. Do it in such a way your money will come out. So that's the perfume. I see added a little bit again. So now I'm going to pour my soap into my already lined molds. Meanwhile, our classes are on if you want to join us. Our profit in soap making class is just 2000 Our soap formulation, if you want to make soap of any type, be it paste soap, herbal soap, fruity soap, any kind of soap formulation, it's 5000 Naira. You can join us on Telegram. We also have other classes like cream making, pro mixing, Kiddie skin care, safe skin lightning, and hyperpigmentation class. All in all, we have about 10 classes. If you're interested, you can chat me up. So I think at this point now, the video is quite easy. I've poured my soap into my mold. And the very next day, that soap had this soap hardened done. You can see it. You can see the commercial soap in it. Look at them. The very next day it hardened. But I didn't cut the soap that day. I unmolded them and left them outside for breeze to blow them for another day before I cut the next day. But you can see the color. You might not be able to compare here, but the color and texture I got was the same with that of the commercial soap. The only issue I had with this soap was with the mixing. As far as I'm concerned, it didn't mix well for me the way I want. But anyway, next time, I intend, if I'm making a large volume like this, I intend to use my mixer. It's only that that day there was no light, and honestly, I do not have money to unjam. We can see the commercial soap. See it with my own. Exactly the same. The texture, the color, everything the same. If I had that person's stamp, I will use his stamp and he will not even know that it is not his soap. Okay, because just by looking at the soap, I was able to guess what the person used. So this is me unmolding my soap. In my lined mold, okay. This mold is lined and it's collapsible. So this is me cutting my soap. This soap cutting is a family. Is is not how how let's say is a family issue. Everybody was involved. You can see my husband. You can see my son, my daughter. Everybody was helping. That was one good thing with uh, being a home soap maker everybody can help so at this point i um think you will definitely be able to follow and understand and this table cutter if you know you're a soap maker you're into commercial soap making believe you me you need this soap cutter it cuts exactly commercial sizes exactly you will see when i compare this soap i'm cutting with the commercial one Exactly the same thing, the same size. Both big bars, small bars, laundry soap, bathing soap, hotel size, all it can cut. And it will give you less of cut, especially if you're using our mold. You have little to no of cut. So all in all for this soap, I got over 200 bars. I got over 200 bars. And then the off cut alone, the off cut alone was from just removing, removing these grooves, the off cut alone will give me more than 20 bars or around 20 bars. 
you can see the soap after drying it you can see the shape the color still was the same you can see i'm packaging them after about a week of curing i cured them for a week you this is the commercial size i'll compare it with my own now and it is really hard so when my own dries completely to also be hard like that because at this point that i'm packaging it was not yet completely very hard but it was hard enough you can see what i was telling you texture color size no difference mine is even having some sort of translucency to it compared to even the commercial one meaning the, it it even has more calcium than mine okay so this is me rebuilding the soap okay thanks for watching my video ciao